Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. Are you lost and confused? There is a lot of being lost and confusion in the air. And these are actually two separate things. Feeling lost means something. Feeling confused means something. What do these possibly mean? Well, welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia, located in Chicago, and I teach about twin flame ascension, twin flames, soulmates, ascension topics, and everything that goes with it. So if you are feeling lost, this specifically means you are at a crossroads. Now it can mean that you have been going along and either ignoring, overlooking, or completely missing important signals, important guidance, important things that you needed to know to do something. This can involve some procrastination. Many people procrastinate on their journey, not even knowing that they are procrastinating, but it does amount to causing delays and procrastinating. If you are feeling lost, part of being at the crossroads is it requires choices. And again, we are not in duality. There may be more than one choice. It's not always this or that. Do I take the high road or the low road? Do I take this road or that road? Do I take a right turn or a left turn? You have to rise above and you have to transcend certain things. That is why I teach about the twin flame body. Your twin flame body is your etheric connection to 5D, to the levels above you that are intended to steer you, guide you, make it smooth for you, open the doors and close doors behind you. If you are having trouble closing doors, you can feel lost. Do you need some cord cutting? This is particularly chaotic in season changes. The messages can be garbled, muddled up. You may not be getting clear answers on things. A pendulum won't always cut it. Sometimes it makes it even more. If you're doing this really outdated thing, like you're saying, please give me a message. If it's this, I promise, blah, blah, blah. Very, very outdated. The bar has been raised and you're expected to begin using your 5D and above connections for proper guidance and proper actions. If you're saying, show it to me on a license plate, you know, that's a novelty, but that isn't going to cut it for you going forth. Lost, confused. How can you be confused? You would be surprised how much mental miasm is out there in the world for all of us, particularly during chaotic times. There is a war. There's more than one war. There are attacks. There are tax seasons. There are things that people are confused about. There's climate change. There are deadbeat dads. There are people that break promises on and on and on. And it's always been that way again with your twin flame body you are intended to transcend this if you don't know how to do it it's time to start learning how to get unconfused and get the clarity that you need to make your life smooth there's all kinds of imposters out there that really don't know let me tell you one of the keys with it it is not following the pack because you are not always going to get answers on social media if you have someone that throws out some little tidbit of you know, beautiful uh, kind of philosophical words, that is not always going to give you specific answers for your situation, your life, and even your side of your life as a twin flame. Remember that you are a twin flame and there's two of you and you have your side and they have their side, especially in separation, even though you are in a process of unification. That separation is significant sometimes. You'd love to pick up the phone and you'd love to be able to, you know, just ask about it. Hey, what should I do? Sometimes those are old codependencies and it's time to toss those out to the window, get unconfused and start raising the bar on your own use of your brand new light body. It takes integration and yeah, it takes shutting out old stuff, old patterns, old ancestral stuff. That all goes with it. That's why I teach about this because it is not easy for people. If you are becoming disgruntled on your journey and you're just throwing up your hands and saying, oh, I just don't even know what I should do next. Like I thought by now, and a lot of people have that expectation because they're putting deadlines on stuff. It's not about not putting deadlines. 
every season change there are expectations of you if you're falling short or you sense you're falling short you're stalling you're procrastinating you missed something you're dilly-dallying let me tell you start getting your stuff done okay get your stuff done easier said than done which is why i teach this to make it smooth for people to make it easy because what i'm teaching is the opening and utilization of your brand new connections i'm not telling you what to do because you need those skills going forward for the rest of your existence not just for the rest of this life for some of you that are young let's say you're in your 30s or 40s what are you going to do for the next 30 or 40 years that you're living how are you going to keep those anti-aging qualities intact for yourself while you're living that how are you going to do it as you are together okay so a lot of people get to their point of resignation and say this is never happening i'm going to give it up guess what you have your light body for the rest of your life start getting used to it whether you're with a karmic partner whether you're with a karmic situation whether or not you're not sure whether or not you're absolutely sure but you're in a separation whether or not you're together and you're just wondering why are we not getting along it could be any of those situations people neglect the sight of them they don't pay attention to it let's talk about numbers so not only do numbers not cut it numbers are not going to give you specific answers to specific guidance questions that you have and need what to do about your kids what to do about your job which door is going to open for you how should you go about it all these things the practical parts of your life do come through your twin flame body and they need to because this is about you it's about you and your other half and it's about merging the two of you together in such a way that life flows and is enjoyable and tangible and physical okay and it's not about you know white knuckling it through every argument and thinking oh my god we're walking on eggshells now what if that person gets upset or angry with me no you have ways that your soul wants you to do things to make it win-win for everyone let's talk about astrology a lot of people love astrology it's in the newspapers you can pick it up and see you know wonderful little message might boost your mood for the day right what it's not going to do is help you with your light body it is not going to help you with the specific twin flame guidance for your physical body as you're coming together as you need to merge together and as you need to make connections with their body astrology doesn't do that astrology will say things like well this energy is about the spine well what the hell does that mean okay it's very generalized it is not specific nor is it a specific modality to help you integrate and alleviate the things of the past easily easily I'm all about the ease I'm like you know the laziest person in the army like give me the I will figure out the easiest way to do that doesn't mean it's easy I make it as easy as possible doesn't mean that it happens one two three it will happen much swifter than dilly-dallying and procrastinating so I need to say that so you are not two-dimensional but when you're lost the last place you want to look is social media okay do yourself a favor of self-care and get my spring template to help you the link is below several videos that walk you through what you should have for this spring season for this new season after the equinox there's a lot of things that are going to tumble about we are still headed for a lot of strife the best thing you can do is focus on you because when you're the best you you're the best you okay in some ways sometimes that is what you have to concern yourself with as much as we're concerned about certain things there is chaos happening right now that we need to pull up from and unless some of us get there we cannot turn around and help others okay it doesn't matter how much you know people whine and moan about this thing and that thing get the actions okay it's like those old things of people you know sitting there praying or the people who are actually collecting resources 
in getting it where it needs to be into the hands of humanity. I'm here to help angelic humans integrate their brand new template, their blueprint, whatever you want to call it, the light body. It is new. And that's part of what throws people off because they're trying the same old stuff. And that's the definition of insanity. It doesn't work. Okay. Please check the links below. I'm also available for one-on-one -on -one sessions and I am twin flame specific. Okay. Not floating out here. I've been doing this for a very long time and I knew this was going to happen, but many people are at those crossroads saying to themselves, I really want to live and you're really wanting to live. And it's not a post pandemic thing of like, whoo, you know, I survived the pandemic. You want your life. You want your life back. You want to live the way you want to live, which means lifestyle. You want an upgraded lifestyle, upgraded friends. Stop hanging around with losers. Stop hanging around with people who commiserate. Who's ready for genuine fun and joy? A lot of times we forget that from our childhood. Your own body forgets how to laugh sometimes. You need a good laugh. Come and join. I have a wonderful sense of humor. I too love to laugh. I love to have fun. Those whom I love, I tease very gently with feather. If I'm not teasing you, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know you yet, okay? Thanks so much for watching and check it out. Check the links below. Bye now. <laughs>